Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode what I'd like to do is actually complete <laughs> Astral Sorcery. I didn't said I was gonna I'd done it last time in the title, but I have there's two more items to make. Which is a bit odd because they're in the wrong order. I'll show you what I mean in a second. And also to carry on with applied energistics. So I don't want that on. I, the difficulty meter doesn't I don't need it anymore. It's being hundred and two hundred and fifty, it's not gonna get any more difficult. Anyway. So let's get on and do that. There is one thing I did. You can you can't quite see because the mini map's in the way. So anyway, we'll have a look at that first of all. So I'll put my helmet on. Then we get flight. I put the this chalice on a spectral relay so it sort of sits there. Shouldn't despawn, it should just sit there. Which I think is quite neat. I also put some hoppers at the back of every one of these and made some more stuff in preparation. So we've all got all of these will be full with different processes and all ready to do the next lot. And in here I've got some redstone and what I could do it of course is put into here. The advantage of these you can put a stack in at a time. So I could put a stack of these into the bottom of here like that, ready for whatever process that we want to make. That's why it's nice to automate using that thing. So first of all, let's go and have a look at the quests. There's a few quests I haven't collected. Whether I want to collect them with you, I don't know. You have to tell me. I suspect it's sometimes a bit of a waste of time. But um, Magical World, we've completed this quest here. Oh, yeah. I get it. No oh, mind. So let's claim that reward. Back. Oh, well, I'm wrong about that. This one should be done. But why does it say? Cause we've done this loads of times. I might have to complete this one automatically because it's probably NTB data. Anyway, it doesn't matter very much. And then the last quest of that one um, was the iridescent altar. We can do the iridescent altar. It's not too difficult. So let's open up this chest, see what we've got. Oh, unstable ingot. That's actually not too bad. It's actually a stable and stable ingot. It's not the right one. You have to break it up and then put it into nuggets and put the nuggets into the actually do that and then you put those into the i think it's the, st the stoked crucible i'm not sure let's have a look so you can put them together again but it doesn't work the only way you can do is in a st yes a stoked crucible and that gives you this type the divide by diamond error so let's put those away somewhere actually, i'd probably like to put those in my backpack next time i go to another i'll make i make an ingot because they're always worthwhile doing but not in there, because that's something else. That's all the astral sorcery stuff. Let's just put it in here. So it's night time. We're going to go and trundle off to the to the altar, the celestial altar. And I'll quickly go and check this. Check go and quickly go and check the um, the telescope. Every night we've got to check this because there's one last constellation that we've not found. But it's not out tonight. This is the one that's only out every once every 30 minecraft days which is about i don't know how long it is and this one got it to work fantastic i'll show you what i did i did nothing except this got the right button yes i have i moved it it was between two chunks <laughs> so i moved it to the, into its own chunk so <laughs> i think that was all they have to do they were talking about restarting the game that didn't make any difference and all the rest of it i'm not sure whether this one's actually working or maybe that's got the same no it's not not related is it let's just link this one anyway i haven't linked it to the iron i was wondering if it would work going through the iron and it doesn't seem to go to work going through the iron there's a linking tool here so what happens if i actually link this crystal here to the iron block here does it actually work? Oh, it does work. So going through didn't help. You can also do this. You can link it to this one, and then you can link the prism. Oh, I've got to go off there. It's probably already linked to that, actually. Then in that case, let's just link that to this one. And you'll see that also gets the particle effect. So that works as well. But we'd already figured that out. Let's turn off the this stuff here. Quite a spectacular effect, that one, when it actually does work. And of course this altar then gets everything and it's already prepared. I've already prepared all the ingredients to do the iridescent altar. So let's double click the constellations and have a look at this one. So we need a celestial crystal or an attuned celestial crystal. 
four resonating gems, one lens, uh, some ruined marble and some city marble. Not really very much of a big deal. And then the base is exactly the same, I think. I don't think there's any difference. All we have to do is to put on top of this some marble bricks. Now, I don't know exactly how many marble bricks we need, but I'll, it's no big deal. We've got a chisel with us. We can chisel stuff around. So here it is. And you see, I've got the full stuff, and this is already prepared. So all I need to do now is to click, click this with the resident wand. And we get our nice particle effects, which we'll have a look at from behind a bit further back. They generally don't take too long, these things. One thing I was worried about when I was doing the other altar, probably could even bring this whole thing down one block, was done. You've learned more about radiant. Let me get a flare. Now, where's it gone to? Oh, it turns it itself. Now, I've got to pick it up, of course, for this to work. I'll tell you what I'll do. There, ah, yes. Hmm. Huh. Let me just put down a block here so I can pick it up know where it goes back because it's all black and it's not that easy to figure out where it is so that should complete the quest I hope but it's a bit strange so let's have a look let's get back to quests again because we've done these celestial crystals all the time and we've made loads of them they've been in my inventory so it must have not detected it um, let's go back because that then points on to this one. There is only one to produce, isn't there? Okay, so I'll we'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do the, the usual way. We'll numbers that five, eight, seven. So, well, I've done it. I don't know, and maybe it's a I'm not sure what the problem with that one is, probably BT. So now we get this Radiance thing, and I'm not going to do anything in that, because that's all about other stuff. So let's go back to Constellations here and have a look at the Iridescent Altar. So we now got to build this structure on top of what we've already got. I think it's possible I'll do this off camera. I'll, pick, I'll put the altar back down here. I can't use it for the time being, of course. Hopefully we don't need to make anything. <laughs> it won't go down. Tell you what I'll do. Put it down on top of this because it's not going to work anyway. Yeah, it's probably too big. Oh, that's a bit strange. I could put it down there when it was there, but not. Okay. Pick up these two things. I haven't got my magnet put on at the moment. Anyway, I oh, put down some nether bricks, so that's fine. Oh, no, I didn't. It's turned it into nether brick, didn't it? I put down. That's right, of course, I remember now. I put down this. And I think. Oh, yes, of course, it's been linked from that one. Haha. <laughs> so let's link this one across like that. So if we link this one to there, it should turn into nether. Yeah, it's doing its particle effect. There's quite a few of those transformations you, you can do. Uh, most of them we don't need to do. But that's actually not such a bad one. Anyway, right. Let's go back to the to the base now. So we've actually figured out how we can do this stuff. I'll put that out of the way. I think I want another one here. Or is it different? Do you know, I think the only difference between these is how they get picked up. Let's just put this one down and pick it up again. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. We'll, we'll convert them anyway. So, right, that's that part done. So, I'll finish that off in my own time. I don't think there's any need to do building on on, on camera. Is so, so, let's go back to the overworld base. Oh. I f did forget to go to the Starlight Altar because I have made another crystal and those are already ready anyway. So, even if I'd picked them up, it wouldn't have made any difference. What do we get this time? Actually, not a bad one. So that was that one. 
Um, overworld base. So let's carry on with some applied energistic stuff now. Oh, I didn't claim that one back. And I can't claim this until it's at. That's a stranger. Oh. Oh, we actually given us some more some constellations. Huh? Oh, that's a bit strange. What would we need that one for? Since we've discovered all but one of the constellations. Hmm. Never mind. I'll figure that out as we get to it. So. Spectral relays four. We've made loads of spectral relays. Of course, it hasn't, doesn't detect them in the past, but I'll just make some more in that case. That was one. <laughs> I could pinch it. Or we may make some more. Never mind. So I'll do that. I think I'll do that off camera. We've done it already, haven't we? Let's get rid of this as well. Why is that not going, getting picked up in there? Because we've got enough glass for doing more spectral relays. We've got two, so no big deal. So, right, next thing. Oh, let's open this quest. Uh, this loot chest. Do we get luminous blocks? Now, where do I put those in here? So we've got two stacks of 64 and I've not used any of them. I must have a good use, so I think it's just decorative. I don't do decorative. So, right now, a trick. See, if I'm looking at applied energistics here, and you take out the space when you do this as well. Applied and energistics is here. When you're doing a mod, you don't put the spaces in it. I've got all of these cable facades, and I've got like, I don't know, like almost 18 pages of them. I don't want them. So what you do to get rid of these? You select JEI here, and you've got this hide inventory mode done. You have to turn it off, and you shift right click any of these covers. So shift. I told you actually here, and I'm pressing down shift. So if I sh control right click, hide by wildcard, it highlights all of those. As you can see, they're all highlighted. So then when I come back here, turn that off to false, done. They should disappear. So I've only got two pages now. So that's <laughs> a lot easier to search for stuff. So that's one trick. So what we need to do next, let's have a look because I can't remember. No. So I haven't done any of these either. Well, you know, I'm not sure that there has to be a point to doing these quests. You need to lead on somewhere else. And they don't lead on anywhere else. So that's a bit, you know, sort of frustrating. Applied with energistics is quite functional, so we'll do that one. So we've got two choices. We've got a 1k crystal and storage drives. So let's do the storage drive. An ME chest and an ME drive. Okay. Now, how do we do an ME chest? The recipes are probably different. There's an ME chest and an ME drive. So, Constantan, ME glass fiber, silicon, that's no big deal. None of this is actually a big deal. I've got plenty of it already prepared. Let's get that out of here. I think we'll use the. Doesn't make any difference. There's 16 of each, so I'll take those with us. Take some cables and some quartz fiber and some glass. These are the things we need. We need to make um, silicon. We need to make um, some more en processors. So let's do some more processors. We'll start with the engineering processor, I think. I'll make 32 of these. Oh, it's just a right click. If you haven't noticed that, you'll right, do is right click them. So we can put those into there, and then we should get 32 of those. This is already prepared for the next step, and this is we're making some more. Because in the hopper here, I've got some pure fluids crystals. So what we need is one of these, don't we? Let's get it out of it. We've probably got it already. Take half of those. This gives us two. Fine. And let the others carry on. When I put the speed upgrades in those, they work like very, very, very fast. So, right now. ME drive. What are we short of? This one. And an ME chest. This one, what do we need for that? Oh, we need a 
um, terminal so we've got to make some of these annihilation planes which is fairly straightforward so we need and is that the annihilation yeah annihilation plane and the other one formation plane actually I can do that make sure we've got the right crystals with us so we need some of these we're about to need some of these one of each of these I guess will be the way it's going to work Oh, powder. Ah, I haven't got flux dust. I've got I've got crushed quartz. I'll make some crushed flux. That's going a bit faster now. I'm not quite sure what's going wrong with that before. <laughs> it's, it's going at the sort of speed it should have been going at in the first place. So where where are we? This one. I now I'm going to run out of space. Because <laughs> it's always doing. Hold on a second. Have I got any space in my this one? I have good. I can put this up here. We should get that out of the way, and it probably gives us enough space to carry on anyway. So that's that one done, and then the other one. It. I think it's probably exactly the same recipe, but just with the other processor. No, got it wrong. Probably the wrong order. Oh, they're both using um, logic processors. Okay, I'll have to go and make some logic processors and get some crystals out of here. I'm going to just do one. Move that out of the way and this as well. So I'll do 32 of these as well, because we're going to need loads of these. Take these out of the way. And of course we'll do the same thing with the other one as well. It does save a little bit of running around, and I'm still doing a lot of running around anyway, so... so we need this one, so we need the formation cores. Got two of those, good. So now we may be able to complete the terminal. And we need to make these and glowstone. Okay, that's no big deal. I'll tell you what, I'll do. I've got too much. I think, yes, it's normally coming threes. Yeah, that's right. Just three will do, I think. No, I'll do, we'll do two, two sets. No, three will be fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. So if I... Yeah, we'll get rid of the stuff that we don't need. So, next one. This is quite a complicated process, but ME terminals are very ha handy to have. We'll definitely make two of those. So what do we need? Just a calculation processor. Logic processor. I always get those two mixed up. I'm never quite sure why I mix the two up. Because I always think the calculation's gold. Because gold's used in all the computers, so that's how I sort of think about that. But it's the exactly the opposite. Anyway, let's do this one. We get two. We're going to need two. We're going to need one for crafting terminal or a terminal anyway. So now we should be able to make the chest. What am I missing? Fluids crystal. I'll just do one. Chests in themselves are generally actually very useful. There's one way to sort stuff out. Got it. I'm using quite a lot of Constantan ingots up. Where are they? Can't see them. Uh, 29. Got them. Okay, so I just wanted to check that. So, because everything's using content down, which is actually not such a problem with the seed, but uh, so let's have a look now. So we completed that quest. Let's claim the reward. We're back. So what else? Well, I haven't claimed these. Let's claim these while I'm here. There's actually a couple of quests I haven't completed. So now we've got opened up fixtures, blast drives. 
I think the next important one to do would be a 1K cell. So we've got to make a 1K storage cell and a 1K fluid storage cell. Okay, well that's the start. Um, so let's open up these three loot chests which I've got. <laughs> Ooh. Um, yes, let's <laughs> open up this one. What have we got here? A silk touch chance pen pendant. Oh yes, this is the one. That's actually quite a good reward, that one. I <laughs> feel this is actually quite an... This one allows you to pick up um, a chance cube if you put it down. Legendary. Yeah, that's that's a fairly legendary reward. Let me have... Gonna, but <laughs> unfortunately, I've got my inventory so full I'm stuck. Tell you what, dude. Let's find an empty space like this one here. And then select... Pick up all items. This one. And it picks up everything that we've dropped down here. Well, if it's in range, that is. <laughs> so that was that one, and then last one. I'll put those up there. That's quite a good place for those anyway. Gravel. Basic. <laughs> Get rid of the gravel. Well, let's go and put those, those little chests away. So bits and pieces. I think I'm keeping the chance stuff in here. And it's not in my inventory, of course, because I've moved everything out. Let's get it out of here. Can we get those three out? No. Funny that the pendants don't actually sort together. I've sort of seen that as being... Oh, I've got these crystals up. I'll take those out of it. We don't need those in there, do we? Crush quartz, and oh, that's full. Where did the other one go to? See, that's the tier two one. And the purple one is the creative chance pendant, and the last one, silk touch one. I so it's there. So it's gone to the very bottom. Hmm. Okay. Well, fact, well, what have we got on us? We well, should go and put this chest down somewhere, I think, first of all. This really needs to be a bit nearer to where I am at the moment, but for the sake of it, I'm going to put it down here. And I'm also going to talk about that. Have we got another night, by the way? If we've got another night, I'm going to quickly go and have a look at the telescope. Because... There's actually quite a few black ones tonight. It's the moon phase it. So it's new moon, I think. Right, won't be won't be the one we need. Sorry about that. distraction. So I've got to try to remember to do that every night. So, right, next one. We need to make the 1K storage cell. We, we need to therefore make two 1K storage components. Am I missing with that one? I think there was. I think it was pure certis. I think it picked up a pure certis quartz one. It could actually make six, but mm, I think we'll just make two because we got to make the cell That's to complete the quest. Now, where is the cell? I'm sure it's here, but I can't see it. Oh, right in front of my nose. Ah, yes, of course, the, the fluid ones aren't showing up. So we can do it like this. So we need three pieces of iron. We've got no iron in that chest. Okay, let's take a stack of iron out of here. Make sure it goes into this chest here. Uh, storage can... Yeah. This crate probably the right word, wouldn't it? Let's try that again. Now the fluid ones are actually a different mod. And that's full. Okay, I'm going to throw that. Oh, it should be alright. I can throw it on the ground. Because it'll get picked up. Actually, oh, it won't get picked up. Because I haven't got my... It'll get picked up and put into here. Now, what is the fluid cell? Now we've got four pages. 
I think it was here. Yes, this one. 1k for each cell. So we've got to use basically blue dye. Okay, now what mod's that in? That's extra cells 2. So I suppose the best thing to do is put extra cells 2 here. And then that should limit the search down. So we just get the extra page now for that for this stuff. And we get all of these fluids, that's it, the yes, in this in this little template type thing. I think it's a pattern. Deprivated gone in dot one thirteen. <laughs> okay. Shame about that. They're actually quite useful. Um now. Blue dye. So the best way to do blue dye is probably through flowers, isn't it? We got a full and a full, yeah, that'll do. My inventory is very full at the moment. What have I got in here that I don't need? The drive, yes, I suppose I can put the drive actually down somewhere, can't we? Let's go and put the drive down beside the cell. Like that. They'll be powered. But no drives don't work to put cells in them. <laughs> so, so storage components anyway. So now blue dye. Of course I've not picked it up because it's not picked it up. Oh it got picked up into here, that's right, yeah. So we'll make some blue petals and ground those petals into dye. So let's have a look at the uses of that one. Blue. That's light blue. This one's blue flower, isn't it? So we get almost two stacks of that stuff. So now, where is the petal and mortar? It might be on my person. Let's have a look. It's actually a crafting component, so it shouldn't be. It should be in this chest here. It should be in this crate here. it's not there where is it then I need these balls to pick these balls up we don't need those in there not getting it picked up should be picked up and put him to my oh of course that inventory slots full isn't it that's funny unless I've left it into this crate here I can't see my pistol and mortar Tell you what we'll do. Let's look at the uses of that one. Oh, I need to make these into petals, don't I? Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> hmm. I've got no space whatsoever on myself at the moment. Ridiculous. I wish I can do this as well. So we just need to pulverize those and in the pestle and mortar. Now, where is it? Hmm, sorry about this. I had, don't know what I've done with it, as usual. I really do need to get this A2 system up and running, put some of these essential things I'm using all the time in there. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's do for the uses of that one. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, we get a wand. This one. So it isn't around. What's the recipe for this? Just a stick and a ball. Okay, we've got all to another one. Probably be quicker than trying to find it. I didn't put it in there, I put it in the top one, didn't I? I know we're going to my inventory because I've got no space, which is fantastic. Oh, don't need to cut it, I've got six in here. In fact, in that case, let's just do this. put those five into here because we don't need them all with us exactly this inventory management stuff is getting um, a stick what have I done with everything a bowl and a stick I'll just do it like this for the time being oh, I actually don't need that with me do I Cause so let's try that again uses of this one 
So we need this, so we should be able to do that. Good. Let's put that over there. And then we should be able to do the uses of this one. Because we're going to need just tons of this stuff. Can't see it. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, it does it one at a time. And it's very slow. So we've got enough anyway. So let's go and put these petals away. I don't think I've got enough space in here for, for the uh, petals. We've got some. And then I put the rest into the air flow goes into here. Yeah, that's just mushrooms, which you can also use as colours, of course. I'm sorry, it's a bit of a faff. So now, so the 1k fluid storage component is this one. What are we missing? Flu okay. That's no big deal. I took those out, didn't I? So we should have completed the quest now. Oh, we've got to put the use, we'll put those into the uses of that. So let's do the uses of this one. So we need uh, that's the 4K storage cell, and this is the one we need to make. So fluids, dust and certis quartz tanks. Which means we've got to make some glass. So we're missing okay, I've got plenty of that. We made that ready and prepared. And glass, I think I've got plenty of glass in the in here, so let's try that again. Right, we should have enough. We need three. So we need some crushed. We've got some in here. Yes, we've got two, but it's not enough. Let's take out of these. These, in fact, let's put the... We're finished with that one now, haven't we? So we can put that away. It's so hard, this, at the moment, when I've got stuff. Once I get the applied energy stick stuff up, it's going to be much easier up and running, because we can do auto-crafting on this stuff that we we're going to be using all the time like glass and all the rest of it would be make life a lot easier so now so the uses of that is this one which we should be able to do that's one of those and the uses of this one is going to be very similar it's this one and the three redstone oh We actually completed the quest. I didn't realise. So we only we got to make these storage cells. Wrong one. That one. And that's it. It was iron. Better than chests. Advancement made. I thought that was actually completed. Let me storage cell. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Never mind. <laughs> So the next one takes you on to 4k and then we get 16k and the last one will be 64k and then because we've got extra cells two in here they probably get up to 256k etc you have a lot of storage so let's go and put this into a chest i'm just wondering if i'm making a bit of a mistake here It'd probably be easier to to make another one of those so let's put the 1k storage cell in here and then we should be able to access the chest there we go and we can do the same with this one we can put the fluid cell into here and then that's actually online and it's got some space in it so it should tell us we've got five fluids and we've got a thousand bytes to store that's hard work isn't it so i'm not sure where i'm going to do all of this i'm basically probably best move it over here and use this as the crafting area i think that's what we're going to do but I'll do that between episodes. Now that's that one done. Next quest. Did I claim that loot just I did? Now what's next? Fixtures, what are these? Oh, okay. An ME drive fixture and an energy cell fixture. Do you know, I'm not 100% sure about what, it, let's have a look what it says. Instead of having full, having, them as full blocks, you can turn ME drives and storage cells into fixtures that have a, a bit more than half the storage space. OK. 
description we'll do it anyway i'm not sure i want to do it just yet but well maybe we'll leave that one let's go back to the quest again and do it later on so blast that's just for basically blast resistant stuff that's for very useful for, for transferring data that becomes very useful later on so the next one accessing the network ah, okay so we need an me terminal which we should already have got an me crafting terminal and an me fluid terminal now did i make that too early for this me terminal to be used but it's not such a problem we can still use it so let's do that so let's actually have a look at the uses of this one so the crafting terminal is this one that becomes a crafting terminal so we're just missing a um unbelievable a crafting table we were just missing missing a crafting table let's take that out of there it doesn't matter what type it is of course So that's the crafting terminal. So we've got a much bigger table. That's actually very true. So we have got a much bigger table. So now we need to go and have a look at the other one. Now I put, we need some more of these things, unfortunately. Where did I put it? We had three. Let's open the loot chest while I'm thinking about it. Oh, there it is. So we got gold, diamond, and redstone ore, which is fine. Let's, let me just get my magnet on. Where's my magnet gone to? I'll put it in here. Oops, wrong one. So, and that should pull that one, and we should have pulled up the other one as well. I saw the diamonds were right over there. Right, okay, good. In fact, I don't need this with me at the moment. We'll just put it into the side compartment. Let's put it in here. So we're not going to be walking on fire, so that'll keep that out of the way. I should keep an eye on this. I don't need my astral tome. Let's put my astral tome away in here. I can't, because there's no space. Ah, oh, we can get rid of these. Let's actually turn them into something useful and I think that's just the furnace isn't it so what I've done here is I've put in a hopper and it'll just come straight through here and it'll get burnt and it comes out as it happens into this chest because <laughs> I put in the I didn't show you that but at the bottom of this I've got another hop hopper here feeding in mini coals and underneath that I've just got a pipe so an item duct going into here so anything I smelt ends up in there fairly quickly not difficult to do so I'll go back into there then so i should be able to get rid of those now they go away and i should be able to get rid of the tomb yeah i got rid of the tome but what i should do is keep an eye on this because if this gets full and everything gets blocked that's not full good so now ah where did that come from i thought i'd just shift click those and some, oh, the shift click too. They can go to here. Never mind, because I haven't got the shift button on there. Is there anything else I need to get rid of in here? I can get rid of the linking tool. That's good too. Right, so we have a little bit more space. And I think I'll move the buckets out of the way. I don't think I need the buckets at the moment. Oh, that's where the iron went to. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Because I've got pickup mode going to into the handy bag, haven't I? So what else have we got in here? Okay, we've got one more thing we can get rid hide away. We'll put that the one of the forest in here. I think the rest of that is pretty useful. We'll keep that with us. Now I've done 45 minutes, so let's have a quick look. I will just complete this quest. There's a lot of the same, and I don't know whether you want to watch it or not, but let's have a look. So they completed the crafting terminal, so we need an ME crafting terminal and an ME fluid terminal. So now, let's have a look at the recipe for this. Probably the easiest way to do it. Or maybe just go back and have a look at the terminals here. Okay, an ME terminal, so we need three more of these. 
a missing redstone and glowstone. One redstone, two glowstone. Oh, actually, it was a, that was lucky. It didn't pick up more. Normally, it picks up more. It's a dark illuminated panel. I'll just go for the tunnel one. Yes, that's right. It's one of these. <laughs> you get around in circles for a bit until you get the right type of panel. I should have four of those now. Let's put the other one into that. And then we can use that one to make the craft to the standard terminal. That's the crafting terminal. Well, actually, that's okay. We'll use this one. So what am I missing? Two more formation cores and two more annihilation cores. I think I've used them all up. Now that was... Oh, we've got enough with us, actually. So we need dust. We need two dust, that's right, yes. Oh, we've got six in here already. And we need a... What was the thing? Silicon, I think. So logic process silicon and that one. I think that's right. Let's try that again. So we've got our ME terminal. This time it should get detected because we've done it in the right way. And the fluid terminal. I'm not seeing it. There it is. So we're just missing two blue dyes. That's no big deal. We should have lots of that. I made far too much. But I think it gets used for all of the fluid stuff. Is blue gets used as blue dye or lapis. So this one accessing the network complete. So let's have a look at that quest now. Claim that reward. Done. So then we get to import buses and automation tasks, which we'll start doing next episode I think. In the meantime I'm probably going to make some more some of these because these are very straightforward they're just basically extensions of what we've done. So I'll have a look in here five bales of hay awesome reward. <laughs> now where do I keep the hay? Where do I keep the hay? I have a place for it I think it's in plants and seeds yes. The last thing we're going to do, now oh, we've got it with me, oh, we'll have a look, yes we've got some cable, let's go and put this cable down here and have a look at what we can actually, accessing the network, hmm, I'm going to do it underneath and I'm going to move everything, so next episode you'll see it all moved, but basically all we need to do here is just put this down, across like this, Keep that one free and then we put another one say here and then we can put the three terminals we've made onto those that's just an illuminated panel okay i don't want that one i might be able to use the crescent hammer i'm not 100 percent sure oh, okay good and the other one was fluid So there's no fluid in there. This one's a crafting terminal, which you see the crafting t uh, frame in there. We can't, and this one is just a standard terminal to access the stuff. So, so between episodes, I'm going to build the rest of that uh, iridescent altar um, and finish that quest next time. And we're going to move this stuff around here. So I'm going to move all my crafting stuff around. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.